Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, this video is very informative. I'm, I'm very excited to share this, um, this groundbreaking, um, game-changing discovery actually, and you may actually hear it first on YouTube. Um, <laughs> who knows, maybe the medical establishment will, 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 will pick this up and, and perhaps uh, go with it. Um, but it's certainly just a, it's just my personal anecdotal experience with this. Um, fasting blood sugar, the normal standard range on most medical, ch medical um, uh, charts and whatnot is 70 to 110. I think it may have changed from 70 to 100 milligrams per uh, deciliter. Uh, I believe that's, that's the measurement. Um, and so I was curious as to what my fasting blood glucose was. Being I'm a plant-based eater, I eat fairly, fairly moderate to high carbohydrate diet being, being plant-based, uh, a vegan. Uh, Nutritarian vegan for that matter. I was just curious what my blood sugar levels were. Well, to my surprise, they were actually higher than I was expecting. Um, and this was maybe a month ago. I want to start it in September. Uh, it is now October. We're talking one time it was 88, the other times it was in the 90s. Now, I know that's normal, but that's high normal. And I was just like, you know, what's up with that? Why is it, you know, I'm doing everything. Okay, so I thought I was doing everything right and, and I pretty much was except one thing. Now for me, this is anecdotal. This has worked unbelievable. My blood sugar this morning was 70. Uh, the morning before, I think it was 76. Um, and it's been steadily just stabilizing really good. And uh, I think the highest it was was 88. Um, now, the thing that's allowed it to drop that way and to be that way for the last for this last week or, or two has been nighttime eating. I stopped eating around seven or eight thirty. I, I don't eat past eight thirty anymore. Even if it's healthy, I still don't eat past eight thirty, and it has not failed once. Blood, my blood sugar has been like like perfect, unbelievable, like seventy this morning. And get this, had a big bowl of oatmeal. Then I worked out. My workout was short, it was 18 minutes, like an hour after breakfast, oatmeal. My workout was 18 minutes. I did a two minute high intensity interval, uh, uh, sat on Jacob's ladder for two minutes. Then I just did a little bit of weight training and I just kinda just did, that was it, 18 minutes. You know what my blood sugar was two hours later, which is a standard post meal uh, check time, is two hours after a meal to see if your blood sugar is, what the spike is or if it's come down. 78. So after a big bowl of oatmeal and a very short workout, two hours afterward, 78. Now, This is groundbreaking. Um, I've, I've looked at other videos. I've looked at online articles. None of them talk about nighttime eating. None of them talk about cutting, cutting off uh, eating time and how that can affect blood sugar. Please look at the bottom of this video. I'm gonna list studies. So I have evidence. So it's not just like a bunch of like little links and, and stuff like that and kind of like get, kind of get your money, trying to get your money. I've got science to support this. Um, it's a shame that this video may not get a lot of views because I'm giving an unbelievable natural solution to lowering fasting blood sugar. And that is to cut nighttime eating. Now, what's this research say? What's the premise to this? Well, I, I, I had a hypothesis before I tested this, this theory out. The hypothesis was based on the research and evidence that I've read 
that we're more insulin resistant in the evening. It has to do with circa circadian rhythms. It's like our biological clock, okay? So... What's fascinating is that we tend to be lower insulin sensitivity at night or insulin resistant. Basically, it's the same thing. What does that mean? Okay, if you ate a, let's say, a 500 calorie meal, same exact meal, same exact meal, let's say it's oatmeal. If you had that same caloric value meal in the morning at 8 a.m. and then if you have it at night, let's say at 10 p.m., the insulin response is gonna be significantly higher at night. The calorie load is the same. It's isocaloric, same calories. But your, your insulin response and your blood sugar response will be higher at night. And what's fascinating is I've noticed this you know, just vast dramatic improvement on my blood sugar just from doing this one simple thing. In fact, my blood sugar is at a point now where it's rivaling the entire low carb and ketogenic uh, folks who claim that their diet is like, you know, plant-based carb diets so like wreck havoc on blood sugar and all this stuff about fat loss. Well, you know me, I'm shredded as can be, right? So, but, but what, what, what about blood sugar, right? And, the, and those health implications, right? Well, it's amazing how this one thing made a huge difference. And so I'm gonna just kind of continue on and definitely will, probably do a follow-up video on this topic, but I think this topic needs to be discussed and I think this solution that I just presented needs to be, needs to be out there. So there needs to be some planning involved. So eating your breakfast, eating your lunch and having, having a lighter dinner, but having your dinner really not lighter, it could be just earlier. So trying not to eat past 8.30. Ideally, if you're finished by eight, that's best. Now we've always known this, right? But there was no real evidence to motivate me. The only way that I got motivated was to actually check my blood sugar in the morning and see, kind of look at all the factors and which factors influence it. I will say this though, exercise is, is unbelievable. Every time I take it after exercise, it tends to be lower. Unless it's already low, then it's gonna be up a little bit because the body has counter regulatory mechanisms. It's, it's a homeostasis, your body's gonna balance. So if your blood sugar is too low, it's going to uh, break down stored glycogen to brace up the levels. If your blood sugar is high and you exercise, your body doesn't. Your body's going to use some of the blood glucose in your in your bloodstream, and it'll lower it. So, and also exercise makes your your muscles more sens uh, uh, sensitive to insulin, which means they they absorb insulin, they absorb glucose better, or it just improves the the receptors uh, on your muscle. It's a complicated topic. Um, but the number one natural solution to lowering fasting blood sugar is to, not, is to stop eating late at night, to have your last meal earlier, and then ride a post-meal fast. So if you go to bed at nine, that's perfect, you know? It's like an hour or two before your last meal. If you go to bed at 10 or 11, it's perfect. It's three to four hours after your last meal. Um, now, you're not gonna be, it's not gonna be perfect. Not every night you'll be able to do that or whatever, but if, if this is tried and, and practiced for most nights of the week or, or as much as possible, if this is made a rule, um, it'll work. Uh, it's been working for me and it's just, I'm just astonished at how significant. I mean, it's, it's like, it's almost too good to be true. I'm like, I can't believe I was able to reduce it that much just by this one little thing. So anyhow, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm sure this video will help, and, and feel free to leave comments and questions below.